Okay, this is the project I'm working on right now. It's a trailer. It was a ski doo trailer, I believe. Maybe a boat trailer. I don't know exactly. They added all these pieces on. They had a piece up here for lights, which I cut, but back here, a new place. Uh, I get all my lights and everything I got it down Harbor Freight. So uh, they'll go on there. They go on. Just like that. And what that big hole here is for. Let's see if I can turn this around and show you. The wire is going to come through there, so. If you really want to get technical, you probably get a grommet, like a big car grommet. But, in, but I did that so the wire wouldn't shave. Uh, it, came, it came with the uh, wires and the two lights for the front. I bought some extra pieces. Same way over here, lights front. I had to get some brand new drill bits. Some odd ones went. I got these at uh, Lowe's for like $29 or something. The other ones I had lasted me... I'd say three years, maybe four, R roughly. It's probably going on three, I think. Uh, but that window off of that right there, which you see, that's just off of Dodge, my sister's. But uh, what this, why I got this, this was given to me. I redid the whole thing, except the bottom, and I even redid these. Uh, I'll show you what I did. If I can find it right here. Let me try to get this into uh, zoom. Show you what. See all the numbers and the scribes on. This is actually hydraulic hose, but it's pretty thick and it's got metal in it. And it's rubber. What I did is uh, the rubber on uh, the bushings in here. Let's see, right in here it had bushings up top and bottom and they were gone and I went to all the trail I went to like five different places that sell trailers campers and all they don't have them so I uh, that's almost most perfectly I put that in there and it's rubber so same thing I took out it'd be stronger put it in there and up front I did not change any of that I fixed all the uh, wheel hubs and what this is it actually had they had a piece that would come out here and it went around and had two holes on it and they hooked it on the back of like a lawnmower or whatever and you can see where they welded that on but this piece actually I'll show you in the, the next video when it's getting closer to being done this latch this latch right here will latch right in that pinhole when it's done That's still a little warm there. Just got done welding it. And that slides up and it actually goes, I don't know if you can see it, but there's one there, one on the other side, and you see the two pieces in the middle, that's where I you push that latch and it's a dump trailer. It turned into a jump trailer. So we can ride the full right up on, don't have to put it on the big truck. Have a chance of uh, falling off again, because that's what happened to me. Broke my hip in uh, like three or four plates, they said. I got two plates, seven screws. Uh, so it ought to work pretty good when I get it all done. And I uh, got to go get the, because uh, it's a homemade uh, trailer, so I got to go homemade title and get my tags, and that's it. I'll show you when it's all the way done, but let me know what you think so far. Uh, let me show you these fenders. I showed you the old fenders, but I threw them away at the dump, or not the dump, uh, recycling today, because they pay you for money. There's no sense to take, some, a lot of people take metal to the dump, and then they throw them in big bins. Well, they're making the money off you. Why can't you make the money? Uh, what I had to do here is, right here where my, my fender is, there's a hole... And I made, the, I made this out of the old hook truck hinge, uh, part of it, right here's part, there's one. I made an L and just took it back to the frame and then tacked it here, put that to the hole there. Now this is the original one, 
but I had to extend it. I welded it here, or tacked it there, and extended it back here. And right there is one of the original ones, but we had to cut them off because these fenders are bigger. My buddy gave me this one, brand new fender. And there she be. Whoops. That's something. Got something like that. Uh, Painting it exactly right, I can tell you it's off. But it, it goes like that. Uh, and I actually set these up higher than the stock fender so I can put a bigger tire on it. Because it's got the uh, real little tires. Let me pull one out here. This is the tire that went on it. Which it, the one rim's shot. But it's they're tube tires, so they're still good. They'll work. And you can see how much how much room it's going to be. It's not quite as much because when you put weight on it, it's going to go down to full. But then I can go up to the next size tire, trailer tire, if I, you want to or had to. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you think of it. I'll show you one, like I said, in the next update video when it's done. Thanks for watching.